we are not allowed to paint in uh, red, green, black and white. Palestinian flag is forbidden and the colors of the Palestinian, Palestinian flag are forbidden. We had the meeting like with the big uh, officer there in the police station in Ramallah. He was trying to um, convince us not to do any political art, like saying to us, why, why, why do you do political art? Why don't you pay, paint flowers, nice flowers, uh, or a nude figure? You know, it's, it's nice. I will, I will, I will even buy from you. At the end, he was serious, and he said, look, now I have several orders to tell you. Uh, you are not allowed to make an exhibition in the West Bank. Uh, and Gaza, unless you take a permission from the censorship. I mean, you have to take the paintings to the military offices and they will stamp each painting that this is good or bad. So uh, some uh, asked him, well, if I paint a flower, but with these colors, what, what will you do? So the, the officer uh, said it will be confiscated and then he became a little bit more serious. And, and raised his voice and said, uh, even if you do a watermelon, it will be confiscated. So the idea of the watermelon, it came actually from the soldier, not from the officer, not from us. When you deny the existence of the people, it's very easy to take their homes, to take their land, to throw them, you know, to throw them out, to put them in prison. Uh, so it's it's much easier for the occupation to uh, deny the existence of the Palestinian people. I'm doing my art. Uh, for my people. The Palestinians are so, this is my audience. Uh, so I don't care if the Israelis don't like it. I don't care if the Americans don't, don't like it or the, or the Europeans, because my, my audience like it. Mm -hmm.